my darling extraterrestrials. I am Kim, this is Dust Motes and Velicor, and I'm coming at you today with an updated 2018 upcoming books list. I made the first part of this video in March and most of the release dates, unless they were like highly anticipated, hadn't come out yet. So we've got some new ones to add to the mix and then everybody can be like really excited and psyched with me. Quick note before we get going, I am at 88 subscribers, which means I just need 12 more in order to get a slightly less ugly URL. So if you are enjoying the content that I create every single week, let me know by hitting the subscribe button and I will really appreciate it. At this point, I don't even qualify for monetization. I just really want my Instagram bio to look less awful because the link that I have in there right now is just youtube.com and a bunch of gobbledygook. And I really just wanted to say youtube.com slash dustmotes and relicor. And that way I can, you know, feel better about my existence. Now, in chronological order, we have A Reaper at the Gates by Sabata here. This one comes out June 12th. June 12th, guys, June 12th. This book comes out in five days. You don't understand, guys. By the time you'll be seeing this video, I could very possibly have a copy of this book in my hands. <sighs> okay, so it's the third book of the quartet. The... I think it's called Ember, the Ember Quartet. Basically, war is approaching from all sides. The young emperor is rapidly becoming unhinged and supernatural threats loom large on the horizon. June 12th, June 12th, June 12th. Okay, okay, I'm done. The next addition to this list is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. It comes out July 10th. The cover makes it look like a sequel to Uprooted, but Goodreads says it isn't. So maybe it's just like an unconnected saga. I don't know, but this one is about money lenders and a Rumpelstiltskin-esque fairy lord? Naomi Novik does not write books that are easily summarized, but she does write books that I hold in very high esteem. <laughs> Next up is Nixia Unleashed by Scott Rankin. That comes out July 17th. My review for Nixia is up here, and I know I don't read sci-fi as much anymore, but this one really did make me want to jump back into the genre. The Genesis team, or most of them, have completed their training, and they have arrived at their destination, and now all that's left is to survive the job. If you like being deliberately misled by shady mega corporations, wait, no. If you like to read books about characters being deliberately misled by shady mega corporations, then check this one out. Strange Grace by Tessa Grattan comes out September 18th. This one is about a town of witches who made a pact with the devil, and every slaughter moon they have to send a young man into the woods as a sacrifice. Dark magic, lies, betrayal, demons, all things I love. The Caged Queen by Kristen Siccarelli is the second book in the Ascari series, and it follows a secondary character that we met in the first book, Cool, Calm, Collected Roa. This one is going to be about consequences, the aftermath of the storm. It's a metaphorical storm. Seriously, if you haven't read The Last Namsara, just like go check it out. It's it's really good. I I just realized I never recorded my review of it. It it's 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 here. It's in my computer. I wrote it. It exists. I just have to record it. Whoops. <laughs> Moving on. Grim Lovelies by Megan Shepherd comes out October 2nd. October 2nd, that's going to be competition with Muse of Nightmares. But who says we can't have both? To be entirely honest, I'm not 100% sure I understand the synopsis of this one, but it sounds like there's murder and magic, and it's just like this dark, seedy underbelly. Like, the whole world is going to be this dark, seedy underbelly. So I'm definitely going to look into that one. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha... It's spelled N-G-A-N, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> it comes out November 6th, and it's about a young woman who lives in an oppressive state who is about to be snatched by the same lecherous king that stole her mother. I love a good rebellion, don't you? Last on my list is The Mortal Word by Genevieve Cogman, the fifth book in the Invisible Library series, and we all know how much I love that one. Goodreads does not have a summary, let alone a cover, but uh, you all know that on November 27th, I'm going to be in the bookstore ready to buy it. 
Hopefully it comes out in paperback. And I'll just have two copies. It's fine. What books are you excited about? Are any of these books on your list? Because I really like to compare lists. I also really just generally like lists. Lists are nice. This is a tangent. I'm very well caffeinated. I don't know if you've noticed. But seriously, what books are you excited about? What makes you want to do this little dance that I'm doing right now? Okay. <laughs> Come talk to me about books. Clearly I need an outlet. <laughs> Aviento. Mm -hmm.